Hey folks, thanks for tuning in for another video today. So, I recently watched a video by Wayne over at Cold Craven Bushcraft called um, Tarp Shelter Stay Bug Free or something like that. And, um, or Tarp Shelter with a Bug Net, something to that effect. And I had thought about making this type of video for a long time. And he, uh, he posted it and so it kind of sparked my interest. So, basically what it is is a, uh, you know, a shelter with a bug net. So that's what we're going to take a look at today. I'll explain a little bit more here in just a minute. So my name's Chris. Watch Skills to Survive. We'll be right back. All right, so if you've been around the channel for any length of time, uh, especially like around last winter, I got the um, Bushcraft Outfitters Core Temp Poncho and also got the Shelter, uh, and then again, uh, then also got the um, Poncho Liner. So, and I said that, and I said in some videos after that that the uh, Core Temp system has really changed my Shelter system because it's, it's so versatile, so lightweight. So. But one of the big things that for me is, you may know if you've watched my videos again, stayed around for the channel for a while, I'm not a huge hammock camper. Um, I can sleep in hammocks, I, well, I should say I can nap in hammocks, but I'm not a big hammock camper. So most of the time when I go camping, I'm going to say 99% of the time, I'm a ground driller. I like sleeping on the ground, under a tarp, under the stars, or what. So, but that being said, in the summertime, it's the bugs are just brutal especially down here in the south and I know you know other places you know the mosquitoes and stuff are bad as well so I wanted to think of a system and I, I thought about this for a while of putting a bug net inside of my shelter and so uh, last year I did a camp out to where I used my DD A-frame uh, tent and I put a um, small bug net in there and that just basically covered my uh, it did cover the area but it wasn't it wasn't that great because it was open underneath so I had a bug net uh, that I had from um, that I got from one of my alpha outpost boxes this was from the siesta box it came with a bug net and a hammock so I thought I'd try this little system today that um, Wayne showed on his video and see if it works out with my core temp system because if it does it's gonna really change you know the way I camp because like I said I don't I don't like camping a lot of times in the summertime without a bug net so um, that's what we're going to try out today. So all I got is just a hammock, a uh, bug net, and then I've got my core temp um, shelter, and then I got my core temp poncho as well. So this system will work with, um, you know, either, I, I believe. So first we're just going to set it up and try it with the poncho, and then we'll um, try it with the shelter. So that's what we're going to do. So I'll be right back. All right, so the good thing with this hammock, um, bug net here is it already has a ridge line in it so all I'm going to do is attach the ridge line let's see so here is the front here so I want the front facing the camera here so what I'm going to do I'm just going to attach this ridge line over to this tree and then over to that tree really quick it's already ran through it and everything so Not gonna do any fancy knots or anything like that. Just gonna tie it up here really quick. All right, we'll go over to the other tree and do the same thing to the other side. All right, so we got to attach to the trees. I had to swap trees, so using this tree here over to this tree here. And what I did is I had to tie it out a little bit 
tighter because you can run this obviously through your hammock and it has the bunched up in here so what I did is I just tied it off right here but I think what I'm going to do in the future is instead of running this ridge line maybe through these loops maybe running it through a couple of loops or something or maybe just putting prussics on here that way I can get it taut and um, so yeah so what I did then is I put my thermal rest in there ridge rest so we're gonna climb on in and see how it is all right let's take a look here so what I did is I put my, my bushcraft outfitters poncho core temp poncho over the top and um, I got it in the front I just got it kind of tied out to you know tree over here and then kind of slope down to the ground on that side and then on the back side I just have coming straight down to the ground let me show you here so there's the back side I just have it kind of coming straight down to the ground so what that does is you know obviously if it were to rain you're probably going to get wet inside of here because this the poncho is not as long as the bug net is so but my bigger poncho would fit perfectly over this but I think this works out just great so for a, a quick little setup you have a small bug free area inside of there that you can get into and I'll go get in it here in just a second and show you but cool little setup man I'm I don't know why I haven't tried this out sooner so uh, let me crawl in there and I'll show you what it looks like from inside so yeah this is um this is really nice um, obviously if my my pad needs to be longer but you know this is um this is a pretty cool little setup right here bug free out of the rain or out of the elements um, out from the bugs and like I said I think if we just fixed it a little bit in here obviously to where it was longer or had a longer pad you wouldn't have a problem but this is a cool little setup so I'm liking it definitely be something I'll try out some more to get a bug free setup so let me crawl out of here and come out with some final thoughts well folks what do you think um, like I said I think this is a pretty neat little setup I don't know why I haven't thought about doing something like this sooner, but you know, after watching Cole Craven's video, it dawned on me that I have a or I have a um, a bug net for a hammock, and it just works out great. So, you know, just something to think about. Have you ever tried this yourself, or do you know of anybody that's ever tried this? I'm just trying to look for different ways of you know keeping my kit kind of lightweight and compact as I can, but yeah, stay out of the elements, you know, from the bugs and, and stuff like that. So. I think this is definitely a viable option you know it's gonna I'm gonna have to test it out a little bit doing overnight and stuff like that and test it out and see but I think for right now you know after and after I cut the video off I laid in here for a while and um, definitely you do need a pad that that's the length of your body so you don't want you know your your legs or arms or anything touching the ground because you know obviously bugs can bite you through that um, but I think other than that I think it's a pretty cool little option again so anyway so thanks for watching folks I hope this wasn't a long video for you just kind of showing something different something kind of cool that I thought about a while back but you know Cole Craven kind of spurred my uh, interest in it again so thanks Cole Craven or thanks Wayne but um so yeah get out and try this stuff out I, you know that's why we get out and do this sort of things that's why we test your gear use your stuff you know just to see you know what all it can do it's so versatile you know most of your kit is versatile anyway you just have to know how to you know know how to use it but I think for something like this if I want to do a quick little setup you know overnight to get out of the elements or get out of the bugs and I had to stay out for overnight this would be perfect I think if I wanted to do or if I was expecting some inclement weather or something like that and it was real buggy I think I'd probably use my uh, helicon text tarp because it's a 10 by 10 and I'd get huge coverage um, for that but this the poncho and the, the bug net works perfect you know perfect quick little setup and once you do it a few times you know you can do it pretty quick so anyway I've rambled on enough again folks so thanks again for watching please get out uh, doors and um, you know, test your skills use your stuff that's the only way you'll know if it's gonna work um, always remember your PPE plan prepare and exercise get outside get outdoors again thanks folks please like share and subscribe I'll see you in another video real soon